Oh, thank you. Let's get a first-hand um, backstory to like this um, secret that you're here to confess. What exactly happened? Like, how did it pan out? Okay, I got married at the early stage, and you know, I was seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. And how old was he? He should be in his fifties. At the time. Yeah. So he was married. Yeah, he has a first wife. And she was still alive at the time you guys got married. Yeah. Run us through the story. Tell us exactly um, what happened. Um, he's a custom officer, mm -hmm. and uh, my parents were in that well off. We we're going through hell and there. So he actually convinced my dad to get me married. Like he needs a virgin that his wife is... You were a virgin at the time? Yeah. Okay, I mean, you were 17. Yeah. Okay. So my dad needed some kind of connection. Okay. And the man needed a virgin wife. So, you know, this African culture that, you know, when a lady is actually a virgin, she brings good luck and blah, 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 blah. Okay. okay. So, um... It happened that my dad is like, okay, yeah, it's an opportunity for his daughter to have a good, a good future, okay. which is stupid. Though it wasn't married, they told me at the beginning. They told me that I'm going to get um, a new family that would actually like build up. <laughs> you were seventeen. Yeah, I was seventeen. And they propositioned this, like they presented it as um, more like you going into a new family. You know, okay. if it's for a guy, they'll say boy, boy. Okay. okay. Something like that. So let me get something straight. Did your dad send you to him as a poverty alleviation scheme? Or was it he was he just trying to secure a good future for you? To him, he was trying to secure a good future for me. So he had nothing to do with him as a person? That's what I said to him. Okay. He that what he was trying to do. You know, most times, in, you know, when both families are joined together, it's more like if you have connection here, okay. definitely to favor the other family. Sure, yeah. So I think that's what he actually wanted to aim. But what he was sharing to his own family, what my dad was sharing to us, is he wants me to have a good future, that he wants me to go to the university, okay. want my life to be better, that he doesn't have much. As soon as I got married off, uh, my dad also joined the custom. Uh, yeah. So So this in its true essence was like a batter. Yes. A trade by batter. Yeah. Like your dad gave you to him yeah. and soon after he got a position um, in the custom service. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so what happened next? Well, I got to the house, I found out that okay, he has a very handsome son. <laughs> he is he was cute and caring. Though the boy is actually like taking me as his second mom. At that time, yeah. the mom is, she's no longer there in the house. She had moved out she of the house. Out, yeah. So it was just you? Me and the five kids. At first I was treated like a baby because they were all older than me. Okay, they were not all. Three were all older than me. And okay. the rest were just younger than me. I'm okay. older than them, sorry. Okay. So I just finished writing my wire at that period. My husband was like, it is time for me to open the nylon. <laughs> that, was, that was the word he used for me at that night when I was going to lose my virginity. So he was like, it's time for me to open the nylon. I was like, what nylon? I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. Okay. But I don't used to call him husband. I don't see him as husband then. I see him as father figure. So I used to call him daddy. Mm -hmm. Daddy, where are we going to? Daddy, are you going now? Should I clean your shoes? Daddy, you know, daddy, daddy, daddy. Yeah. I don't know if that got his fantasy so high. Though we do sleep in the same room. Okay. But he sleeps on the floor while I sleep on the bed. And I used to wonder why am I always in his room? Okay. And this I should stay in his daughter's room. He has one daughter. Like I was supposed to stay in there, but I, I, I was just so naive, like, okay. Maybe he wants to pump on me as a child. Yeah. Get. So the day he said, it's time for me to open the nylon, I was like, ah, ah put nylon. <laughs> he was like, go and shower. Go and shower. Take your bath. Take one bath. Cry all the cry. You want to cry inside the bathroom. I was like, crying again. Am I going to get flopped today? <laughs> so after taking my bath, we were in the bed. And then he was like, open your leg. I'm like, hey, mommy said. <laughs> we're like, okay. That's when he and I had to, had to tell me the story, which I actually felt so heartbroken. And I felt like I've been betrayed. What story did he 
tell you that was different from what your dad okay told. my dad was like okay first it was my mom not even my dad my dad didn't have the courage to tell me yeah when my mom came to me and told me this man is somebody that you have to be looking at as your dad from now on take them now as your family it's more like they've adopted you whatever he says do it okay I, you don't expect a 17 years old girl to be actually having sex in her head yeah so like even if it is painful do it then that's what your mom my said. mom said then my dad came to me and told me that he's sorry for doing this to me that he wasn't supposed to but i should that one day i would understand why he did it that was the only thing my dad said to me i know before the marriage yeah, before yes before the marriage okay so i wasn't like married to who like i want to understand i wanted to break the logic i don't understand then he was like, okay, the day that they called me and told me that, do I like this man? Yes. Now, why was I answering? I was like, I thought you my father already. So, in your head, <laughs> he you was... saw this as an adoption exercise. Yes. Right? So, he was adopting you into a new family. Yeah, that was and... what I was thinking. Yeah. He was like, no, this is not, I got married to you, I paid your bride price completely. Like, where, where did they do adoption and then bring wine? I was like, maybe to just be the family, you know? I was just so, like, confused and mm. the rest. So, after, like, where he actually disregarded me, I didn't feel that satisfactory, you know? I was like, so this is sex. It was slightly painful. Okay. Like, it wasn't as painful as all the girls exaggerated to be. And it wasn't sweet. It wasn't as sensational as uh, so it was just there it was just there i was like okay is this what sex is okay i mean if this is sex i'm not doing it again i i got really angry because now i'm not finding out this man is going to actually now be my husband he called my dad to the house they had drinks i was just looking at my dad like with tears and the rest okay i started remembering the betrayal so his first son came to me how old was he at the time? And he was 24 or so. So you were 17, he was 24? Yeah. So he was like, why are you crying? I didn't do him everything. He was there for me whenever I'm actually feeling traumatized. He was always like comforting me. Okay. Giving me words of motivation, asking me to just, I should build my dream instead of thinking about everything. Was he surprised? that you were his dad's wife or was it was he, he, it's he like already knew already known like so they already knew yeah so in all of this you were the blind rat i don't know if maybe they thought i already knew about okay it until when he now noticed that i'm now traumatized so he was trying to be that um stepson okay guidance and the rest was like i'm older than you i've seen life i know what it feels like so i'm sorry blah 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 yeah. blah so it happened that I actually like fell in love with him. Because he was always there. He was always there. So the love started candling and I think he So was there's this thing they say uh, communication breeds affection. Yes. So guess that's what happened in your that's case. That's what happened between I and him. But at first I I tried brushing it off. Okay. You know, whenever I see him, I'll just keep smiling. It was all like all over me that I'm actually liking this guy. Okay. So my husband is not always around. Okay. This is a customer star. Sometimes he's away for like three months. Okay. So I think the first three months, um, this guy just set me on my feet one day. He said, you're cute. He was looking at me directly in the eyes. Mm. And I just melt like butter. <laughs> <laughs> he's the first person that spanked my ass. And he then made me have this weird fantasy that anybody that spanks my ass, I get honey, even to you now. Till now. Till now. I still have that ceaseless scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's a girl that smacks my hands, I'll be like, oh, jeez, don't do that. It turns me on. So when he noticed that, okay, that shit turns me on, he leaned and pecked my forehead. Yeah. He called me sweet name. So words of affirmations. Yeah, it was burning it over. Yeah. Like, it was more like burning fire for me. Yeah. And whenever my husband comes, I give him attitude. Because like, you were liking someone else. Yes. So His uh, son. Whenever I want serving food, you know, before I used to kneel down, then serving food like, mm. a, like my dad or something. Or this time I would just come bend and serve the food. I will not even sit down to wait for you to eat. I will just stand up, go inside the room. I'm like, ah, what's wrong with you? I'll be like, I am fine. But whenever his son 
calls my name. Yeah. I would actually like, yeah, why are you calling me? Within this period, did yeah. you at any point nurse sexual affection towards his son? Yes. So why didn't you guys have sex, but you were I, affectionately I involved think, with each other? I think, I don't know if he was waiting for the right time. My husband at that time was at Cardinal or something. Okay. He wasn't around. So he his son called me. Okay. And I'm like, oh, where are you? I'm like, I'm in school. Where would I be? He said, he's actually in the States where I school. Okay. I'm like, really? What are you doing here? He said, he came to do a business, which was a blunder like. Okay. He actually came to see me. I don't know how to react around him. Yeah. You know, seeing your stepson that you were just friends with in yeah. a home, but yeah. you know, yeah, something silly is going yes. on deep down in your mind. Yeah. Then you now have to like prove it to your friends that you guys are intimately in a relationship Involved, yeah. or something. I, I was always bragging to them that I have a boyfriend and he's cute, you okay. know. Whenever they show me their own boyfriend, like, I beg, you don't know if I see my own. Yeah. And they'll be like, yeah, this boy fine home because he's a very tall dark guy. Okay. He finally leaves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when they saw him, so they were expressing that chemistry that I was always like interpreting them because I lied a lot about <laughs> the relationship. Yeah. But they weren't saying it. I had to like text him and ask him if he loves me. He said, Yes, I love you, mom. I got disappointed. I was like, not not that kind of love. Like do you love me as a girl, not as a mom? He was like, it's a tough question that we should see. Then we'll talk about it face to face. So I skipped lecture and then I went to see him. He came close to me and said, look in the eyes. You know, I didn't have to like look at him straight in the eyes. Yeah. And he was like, I love you. Wow. All was in my head was kiss him. Kiss him, bitch, kiss him. And I did kiss him. And that's how it started. So we went from kissing to caressing, gave me hickeys, lot of hickeys. Foreplay after foreplay, no sex. Foreplay, I was going off and on, off and on. I was just like, I, I had to ask him, when are you going to put it in me? And when he trusted, man, no, no, no. You don't expect me. Yeah. Not to fall in love with every package. Yeah. I was like, this is sex. This is what I'm missing. And we lasted for too long. I was oversatisfied. I got bruised though. <laughs> so your first satisfaction with was with yeah. your husband's son. Yeah. What, what span of time did this happen? Oh, this, did... this went on and on. Oh. <laughs> so you guys were constantly having sex? We started having sex constantly. You were in school, yeah. And your school, the school where you attended, was a different state from where you guys resided. Yeah, yeah he stayed for a long time. If you like, he stayed for one month. We continued to fight. The fire was burning. You know, we started becoming couples in that state. When we came back, everything changed. Like he became cold. I was treated like a plague. He gets. He started avoiding you. Yeah. And I don't want it that way. So you guys didn't have any sort of interaction back yeah, home? Yeah, like for a while. No sex? No, no sex, just... I, I don't hungry, yeah. No, it's changed, the whole relationship. People even notice it, like, his brother noticed it. I was like, uh, yeah, and my body fights. I was like, no. Is everything okay with everything, you too? I was like, yeah, all right, cool. So one night, I had sex with my husband. And it was still that old same shit, you know? Yeah. Just I just did like this and when he was done and he was like he jokingly said, I know this time around is going to be a female. So I went to the toilet. I was still in the mood for it. So I waited for him to sleep. That should be around two. Then I left the room, locked his door. So that he will not be on my okay. side. Okay. Even if he's going to come like daddy and let me die, my die. Yeah. I went to his son's room. I woke him up. I don't know. Like, I want to have sex. I'm like, why? Not here now. Like, we're doing it here and no. now. Or I will scream. He was like, what, what did my dad do? To you? Like, he turned me on. Not even turning me on. He just went in there. And all I could think was you. Yeah. 
you know, we had sex that night. Mm. I went to my room, feeling happy in the morning. I was feeling all joyous. My husband was asking me questions. I was replying with so. How about your relationship with him? Did it change after you guys yeah. had sex in the house? Yeah. So he was no longer cold. He wasn't cold. He was always like sometimes he would jokingly spank my ass in the kitchen. And you liked that? I loved it. I'm like, yeah, this is what it feels like to be married. <laughs> <laughs> so I was cool with it. My husband noticed that. Okay. I'm being happy at home. Mm. He didn't ask him one day. Have you started collecting from any other person? Or like, I don't understand. See, your breasts have changed. He was not looking at my body from head yeah. to toe. Yeah. Like, ah, this is not how I left. I'm like, am I not growing? Yeah. The person you got married to mm. when she was 17 is now fucking like older. Obviously, he was noticing. He was noticing it, changes. and he noticed that his son became closer. You know what they say? He called me one day and asked me a question. That he say that I know that he's older than me. That what he will sit down to see to see. You won't see. I won't standing. see standing. I'm yeah. like, and I said, I don't understand. He was not like, um, I want to ask you a very vital question. <laughs> Are you? In love with my son. Heat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey! I almost died and woke up. I transit with glory. I was like, no, like in love? How? Baby, I love you more. He said, no. I should tell him the truth. I didn't say anything to him that day. Mm. So this go went on and on and on until I think November I got pregnant. For him? Now nah, that's the question. <laughs> I don't know if it was for my husband. For your husband or for his son? For him. Because I had sex with my husband November beginning. That should be third or fourth. I had sex with him, my stepson. It has six. And you guys were now doing it at home. At home. So I don't know who whose fan. Yeah. Actually so you could be in your husband's room and still come out to have come sex out with. and then you have sex with him we've had sex in the kitchen in the bathroom in the room in the parlor at the backyard inside the car where would you not <laughs> okay we had sex all the time yeah almost all the time though so it was him. just him it was him or your husband him my husband him yeah. my husband so when I got pregnant, I broke the news to my husband. I am pregnant. He was so happy. He was jumping. But me at the other side, I was like, this is my stepson's child. There's no doubt There was that conviction within you. Yeah, that this is his. That the pregnancy was your stepson. Yeah. Because that week, he was the only one who called the side of me dying. I didn't take. I'm like, fuck it. Fuck it. So did you tell him? I told him. He um, had the what news. was his first reaction? He was happy. He was happy as like, you know when, when you're about to give a dog a treat. No, yeah. like stop. Yes. No, jumping. Yes, yes. I was like, yes, yes. What? What? <laughs> like what? You have? He said, yes. I'm going to be a father. I was like, so you know you're the father. He said, yeah. There's nothing wrong. When the child is out, we have evidence to prove our our love. But I had the other side. I wasn't happy. Like, he didn't realize that I am married. Yeah. He forgot the fact that, okay, this girl is my dad's wife. Yeah. When I even told him, he was like, and hey, you can see with Tom Bright Price now. I was like, eh? So he was willing to marry you. He was yeah. willing to do anything for the nation. To have you. Like, it's, it built the love more. I started like, okay, yes, this is a man that wants me, who wants to support my future, who is there for me. So mm. I started to keep the child. At first, I wanted to go for abortion. Mm. Like, to get rid of the baby and tell him that he's miscarried, like my husband, that he's miscarried. So I kept the child, I gave birth to the child. Was um, it a boy or a girl? It was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> what was your husband's first reaction? He said, God give it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I noticed he wasn't that happy. Yeah. But he was cool with it. Mm. He pampered my son. When is he pampering? From the first time you guys had the conversation about, I mean, him asking you if you were in love with his son, 
Yeah. Was there another time he ever suspected that there was something no, happening between didn't both talk, of you? We didn't have much um, conversation whatever. about it. Yeah, it was later after when my son was like five months. I didn't know he was going to die quickly. I don't know if that was that was the last question he ever asked me. So he then asked me, "Do I want to marry you?" So I was like, "I don't understand." He and said, this came from nowhere. It came from nowhere. I was like, ah, <laughs> they don't catch me. Because my son was actually looking exactly, exactly like, his, like his son. Yeah. No, like there's no difference. Like, <laughs> his eyes, his hand. Okay, he took my nose. Because <laughs> my nose okay. is actually very beautiful. He took my lips. Yeah. But you see his hand, his feet, the way he, I don't know if. Within way, you. Yeah. When you saw the baby, who did you think was his father? I knew it was his son, but. Deep. Down. Deep down, I was like, yeah, my sins have been produced. <laughs> my sins have produced so, me. You didn't need conviction. Yeah. He, uh, your stepson, also didn't need conviction. conviction yeah, but both I was of you knew. I knew deep down, but I was yeah. still trying to force Convince that. Convince yourself that, yeah, that it was for your no, husband. No, it's for my husband. But the boy is going looking like my stepson. So when he asked me that question, he was like, because he's older than me, he knows what fitness is, and it's it's not bad if I follow the son. And besides, if he goes today, mm. it's more like his son would take con- over, take continue. Over. Yeah. It's, it's it's a natural thing in their own culture. Mm. I was like, okay, and I actually told him the truth that I actually fell in love with the son. He he was sad, disappointed. He didn't talk to me. This happened, and my son got to a year and three months. Mm. Me and my husband were traveling together. We are at Shagamu, and I just came out from the car to like go buy jewelry. I saw something nice. If there was hold up, I was like, "Let me pack. I want to buy this, and I like it." It was like anything in my want, just a pair of earrings and necklace and bangles. And the only thing I could remember that happened was I had this sound. Pooh! I was just, let me say, from here down to here, I just crossed the road mm. and that was what I had. And people shouting, hey! I just, I turned and it was my husband's car on that trailer. I was like, the only thing in my head was... Who else was in the car with him? My son. Your son was in the car? Yeah. My son. I almost ran out. I actually went to rehab because that shit traumatized me. I was like, where's my son? I ran, crossed the road. I couldn't even find his head. Was he planning to commit suicide? Was it because of me? Till date, I still feel like my, the death of my husband and my son was because... No, he had absolutely nothing to do with you. I, I actually witnessed them die in my front. I, I cried and rode. I begged God to just... Let this be a dream, a normal nightmare. Okay, this turned the relationship between I and my stepson sad. Because not only did he lose his dad, he lost his son. He started treating me like a housemaid. Like, each time he remember, he, he, he was always telling me, I brought misfortune to the family. And the reason why he lost the two things that mattered to him. So I was like, but you didn't lose me. What if I died then? What would you say? Or like, I was supposed to die with it. We started like quarreling, fighting. I couldn't concentrate in education, you know. I started being a druggy. You started doing drugs? Yes. I just to What sort of drugs? A lot. I can't actually mention, but a lot of drugs. I became a drug addict. Badly. I go to club every now and then. I started sniffing around. I started I did all sorts of shit. Just to feel at peace. I go to church, I, I did see peace. 
I go to club, I do five piece, I made friends. I even became a fucking bisexual. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, it's fine. So do you wanna keep going or do you just wanna? I'll fail. I don't have stuff. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. So e So you started going to clubs? Yeah, you started doing all kind of shit. Yeah. Um, Clubs, you became a drug addict. Yeah. You started sleeping around, like yeah. multiple sexual partners. Oh, yeah, I started having a lot of. I even became a bisexual. So, there was an emptiness that you were trying to feel. Yes, I was not feeling at home. I wanted someone who just filled that void of. You no, know, I don't want to feel guilty. So you lost to, your husband, you lost your son, and, and lost you also love lost the love of your life. And I also became a black sheep in my family. So your family didn't want to have you back home? Yes. Which is supposed to be the tabernacle of solace? Yes. And you weren't welcome anymore? So I was looking for where to go home. It was more like a war, a phase that I had to you know, fight on myself. Though I'm still fighting. But it's not like I became stronger. Mm. Each time I have those memories of... Uh, so till now, you don't have it completely figured out. But the good part is you're not where you started from. Yeah. Are you still doing drugs? I stopped last year. You stopped last year? Yeah. So that's progress. Yeah. Uh, do you still have multiple seconds? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... We have to narrow these things down. I won't lie. Yes, I still do. I see I'm like, I would like to say four or five. But not for the same purpose that you had them yeah. for at the beginning. It's more like, it's now life. It's now like part of a source of yourself. Like part of a lifestyle. Yeah. I don't want to be in a relationship. Okay. I tried to be in one and I ran. <laughs> because... With which of the genders? Uh, a female. Oh, female. I also tried male. Okay. After my stepson, I tried only that one. What's the relationship? What's the relationship between you and your stepson like currently? Ah, uh, enemies. <laughs> That's serious. Yeah. To okay. so the extent that we are dragging properties because the dad viewed okay one of his properties to me in a car, and he said it's not possible for a for you to rat, have a murderer to have. His own dad's property. And um, besides. Did he have stuff willed to him? Yes, a lot willed to him. A lot willed to him. Yes. But the one property that your husband willed to you, he still doesn't want it. Yeah. And you guys tried not... having a conversation, like yeah. sitting down and talking about yes. this thing. He knows the real story, but I don't know what was actually wrong in him, what was in his head. Mm. He's just been. Would I say this is true part? Yeah, At this then, point, you guys are sworn enemies. I'm sworn enemies. Like we're going is to there no, is there no room for a renaissance? No, I don't want to. I actually left the property everything. Like I just want to let go of them. I feel like so there's no going back. No going back. I'm not going back. That chapter I, is closed, closed completely. I actually last year we returned the bride price money okay. last year. So officially, you're I'm, not. I'm no longer. Yes. Part of that family. Yes. What's your relationship with your parents currently? I, I despise. Not should I use the word despise? Yes. I, I see them as the enemy that came to eat me alive because I almost committed suicide. I mean, for what is worth, you were depressed. You went into drugs. Yes. You started doing alcohol, multiple and if, sexual partners, yeah. and you, it could have exposed you to a STDs lot. a lot. Yes, a lot and, could have happened. And they weren't even there for me. Each time I, I call them, or rather, my mom, mostly my mom. Each time I call and tell her, "Mom, I'm in pain. Like, I feel like that." She's like, "You're living a very free life. Some people are waiting for the opportunity you had. You went to a private school. Your life is." So sweet. That's so, literally gaslighting. Yeah, she'll be like, she told me I'm married to a rich man and I'm still complaining. Like, you say, is it because you lost your son? Do you know how many children I lost? She would have tried to know what is making me feel impatient. Like, marriage is marriage, it's always going to be bitter. We'll make it sweet. I was like, wow. 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 And not to talk about my dad, I don't even like him at all. Does your dad still work with the custom service? No. 
no, Kama actually played a very, very good prank on him. <laughs> he got fired, like just like that. Like they just after the death of my husband. Yeah. He after just, the death of your husband, yes, your dad was fired. Was out. He went back to square one. Wow. And I was a bit sorry to say this, a bit happy about that. Mm. So it's more like, yeah, God answered my prayer because that thing he's always bragging of mm. is being taken out of him. So I believe my younger sisters would not go through what I went through. Like, is like, there room for forgiveness? Is there you know, room for healing? Do you know the most funny thing? I've actually forgiven, but I did not forget. Forget, okay. Because if I didn't forgive, I wouldn't even step my feet to the house. I would actually just change my son name and be a, a total different name. But I didn't. I'm still, like right now, I'm being your name. The most touching part of this entire story uh, was when you said you weren't welcomed back home yeah which is supposed to be like no matter what you do you run home you run uh, home they always chase me out they'll be like go to your husband's house and then the husband's house it's was on fire. fire so whenever i told my mom this is so you know if i should give you hand to stay you will spoil you will not be able to arrange what was scattered go and save it. i can't stay in my house even up to 24 hours you know you would always be thrown back Mom would be like, she be like, I know you want to wear your comfort. She tell me I should like my head. I thought it's comfortability. Next week, you tell me you start going back. Wow. So if you could go back in time, if you were your parents, yeah. what is that one thing you would have done differently or you would do differently? Not ever giving up on themselves. That they will not be able to take care of me. I always told myself, or oh, rather when I give it, I said I would never ever give up on myself and then let my son suffer if i should give it again i'll go like 100 miles i'd rather let myself burn than burn my child instead like the worst mistake that it was giving up hope like just giving up seeing themselves as not able to able to cater to you and yeah. cater for you but there were 100 times they had the courage. If they can actually push me, they could push themselves. That was the mistake they did. And that was one thing I wish I can actually just establish for myself. I'm really happy that I finally voice out. Like, this is what I wanted. This you is, just wanted to be heard. Like, I wanted to be heard somewhere so that parents would actually make the mistake my parents made. But I'm really glad uh, yeah. to have you on the show. I'm really happy you came. Uh, told us your story, yeah. unveiled your heart to us, and I believe this has, to a very large extent, uh, unburdened you as well. Yeah, <laughs> very so, much. It's yeah. more like therapy. <laughs> <laughs> so you heard it. I mean, um, it's, it's been a fa fabulous conversation. I don't even know what to say at this point. Trust me, I don't. I sincerely do not. Um, I'm shocked at the things I've heard, <laughs> and I'm also excited at the things I've learned. Um, most of all is parents don't give up on yourselves. Yeah. Parents do not give up on yourselves because when you give up on yourselves, you're prone to do anything. Yeah. Including trading your kids for yeah. a, a, a what? Uh, a loaf mm. of bread. Exactly. <laughs> Please subscribe to the channel 1246 TV. Uh, like, comment and share this video to as many people as possible. Um, if you would want to be a guest um, on the show, please send a DM uh, on Instagram to 1206.tv, 1206.tv. Uh, 